We meet again. It appears you're lying low lately. What's with the change? I'm acting the same as usual. Really? Is it just my imagination then? Anyhow, I wish the culprit would come forward soon. It's absurd to pretend I can do the police's job. I wish he considered my feelings before asking me this. Mm. No surprise, waiting is pretty boring. I wonder what Ryuji and the rest are up to. Oh yeah. Hey, there was, a, there was something going on with Kawakami, wasn't there? Something involving Chono? I'm not sure what's going on, but maybe you should ask her about it. He's probably still at school, right? Let's go look for her. Um, yes, actually. <laughs> Ryuji, you will fucking wait. Is it on this floor or no? It's like the teacher's guidance office or something. Looks like it might be next floor up. Nope, it's here. Miss hmm? Kawakami, I already know. Kawakami's been driven, been, been driven into a corner by Chono. Let's talk to her so we can help her out. Yes. Okay, so that's Chono, so Kawakami's on the other side. There we go. <sighs> As I've been saying, get home safely, Amamiya kun Well, then I have another matter to attend to, so I have to excuse myself. No, we are not finished talking yet. Uh, I... so... There's been a series of scandals on this campus. We're all being called into question. And yet you leave work earlier than anyone and you barely make it to faculty meetings. Explain yourself. Don't tell me you're out running around at night. Mm. Kawakami's being grilled by Chono. She said she'd do anything to help. She said we'd do anything if we helped her, if we helped her out. So let's clear up Chono's suspicions. The school is closing soon, Mr. Amamiya. Head on home before it gets late. Or did you need something from Miss Kawakami? I have a question for her. What? What? Oh, you, you have another question? Another question? Th that's right. Amamiya Kun's questions are complicated, so I take time at night to help him. So you're giving individual lessons outside of school hours, hmm? What passion! You, you are the ideal teacher. A passionate teacher is exactly what we need at this school. I'm sorry for suspecting you. Well then, you two keep up the hard work. Or keep up the hard work, you two. Hmm. She just kind of convinced herself. Yep, yeah, that did clear up her suspicion, so thanks. You come with me for a bit. I can't talk about this at school. This is my address and phone number for my night job. Why the address? I achieved Kawakami's phone number. Call at night and request me. Just be careful that it doesn't show up on your call history, though, okay? Hey! Yeah, you did it! No call history means a public telephone. Uh, let's call from LeBlanc's yellow phone. Let's call Kawakami when you're free and invite her to meet her and invite her to meet you at your room. Well. Okay, I have to go. Nothing at all suspicious about that. Yuji will up. Is the only one available. Sure thing. Do we have a chariot? We do. Here and are you there? No, you're over here. Yes. Wednesday. Don't need to worry about a smoothie. I don't think there's really any other free stuff at the moment. Sup? <sighs> I'm really not digging all this sitting around crap. Say no, we were talking about looking for someone we can train. Somewhere we can train. I think I finally found a spot. No. Uh, we're free to do whatever we want. How about, how about we head on over there? Cool. Hang out. It's a gym over in Shibuya. Pretty damn cheap, too. Do I have protein? Wanna get going? Come on, I'll show you the way. Oh, do I have protein? This has gotta be it. Here we are. Protein Lover's Gym. Pay per visit, so you don't gotta worry about any bullshit contracts or nothing. The equipment's kind of crappy, but they got tons of variety. Plus, it's real damn cheap. It's only totally worth it even without a pool or hot tub. By the way. Yeah, you bring your stuff. Protein powder. Hell yeah, man. If you want to beef up, you gotta. Wait, that ain't it. 
talk about spare undies. Get back in your suede clothes after a nice hot shower is like the grossest goddamn thing. Uh, but don't go getting your helps up. No, I'm gonna let you use mine. Wanna get going? Anyway, anyway, what's that in? Can I use the sports gym? <sighs> My forms coming back, but I don't got any stamina. <clears throat> Sakamoto? Morning. Ikuna Senpai, it's bonkin'. Bonkin'? You say the strangest things. Is that how you greet a friend? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to come up with some cool new slang. Maybe we'll catch on. You can't just do that. <laughs> Uh, you don't need to call me Senpai anymore. I've already graduated, remember? Huh, I haven't seen you before. Were you on the track team? Him, uh, he's a, a friend. By the time he showed up, the track team was already... Well, you know. Speaking of which, how's your leg? Yeah, I'm managing. I'll be a Senpai, you still running? I actually joined my university's track team. I think I would have quit entirely after what happened. Uh, <sighs> about that. I'm real sorry. No, I should be the one apologizing. I was supposed to be the leader of our team, yet I resigned myself to Kamashita as well. <clears throat> That's because you needed him to write to write, to write, to write your letter of rec, right? You're just looking out for your future, but, but I still managed to F it up anyway. <sighs> Kamashita clearly never intended on writing my letter of recommendation. It was just his excuse not to. And honestly, I enjoy where I am now. The track team isn't anything special, but it's perfect for me. So in truth, I should be thanking you for what you did, Sakamoto. Senpai. I've always regretted not doing more to protect you guys. But I heard some good news recently. The Shujin track team's been reinstated. For real? I mean, Kamashita confessed to all the horrible stuff he did, right? I guess the school got the old track team together and told them they want to, start, they want to try starting it up again. Nobody told me about that. Huh, uh, the rumors got as far as me and I'm not even a student anymore. Anyway, I heard they were going to get Mr. Yamauchi as their new, as their new advisor. Huh? Yamauchi? What, that Yamauchi? Yep, the one who was basically Kamashita's lapdog. Apparently he volunteered. He's really enthusiastic about pulling the track team up from the ashes. Is he? You know, now that the team's, team's being reinstated, there's no need for any bad blood, right? Well, I didn't go talk to him. I'm sure they could use someone with your passion. Yeah. Hmm. So, track team's coming back. Good for them. You seem conflicted. Uh, not really. For real, though, I'm glad the team's coming back. It's sweet that Nakoka and them can start training again. But I'm worried about their advisor, Yamauchi. He's basically like a mini Kamashita. So he's an asshole? Uh... Basically. He'd always yell at us at practice, but he'd be a huge kiss-ass when our parents were around. Ah, I can't believe a moron like that's gonna be advising the track team. He doesn't even teach me. It's gotta be up to something. I'll do some research. There's a chance I'm gonna need your help too, Cap. You'll be free to lend a hand if I need her, yeah? I'll count on ya. I feel like my bond with Ryuji is growing deeper. Chariot rank five. All right. All right. We don't got time to mess around anymore. Let's head home. Wait, got a shower first. See ya. Yo, it's bonkin. About that stuff today. Can't really let me. I can't really let myself be happy about that track team starting up again. Like I said earlier, there's just something fishy about Yamauchi being the advisor. But I mean, if anything happens, I know you got my back, so I ain't too worried. Don't worry, I got you. Yeah. Thanks, man. Nook a count on ya. I mean, we don't know for sure if anything sketchy is going on. But when I get these gut feelings, they're usually right. Well, if I hear anything, I'll hit you up. Okay, later. Ah, you're back. 
Hey, so can we bone if this legal action goes through? Madarame is a well-known individual. The police will surely move fast on his request. He will be arrested, and worst comes to worst, sent to some sort of juvenile hall. But I thought you said it didn't actually it didn't seem like he'd actually go through with it. That is true, he's been bedridden since we went through with it, after all. Honestly though, it's difficult to even tell if he's actually undergone a change of heart. We'll just have to we'll just have to wait until he recovers. I don't feel good about that. I will contact you all once any I'll contact all you all at once if anything happens. Will that work for you? Go for it. Very well, how I will try to keep a close eye on Madarame's state as possible. Very well. Well then, see you. Hey. Actually, didn't Kawakami give you her phone number? You can call her? Yes. Nothing there. Hey, hey. Nothing there. Plant. Nice. That should be good for a while. Hey. We did all we could. Now we just, now we just have to wait to see how, how this turns out. I should write something. Call Kaokami. Might have to clear out the uh, other customers first, but whatever. Call the phone. Should I call the maid service? I don't have the guts. I need staunch. Okay, looks like we need rank three guts then. Noted. Who's available? Kaokami is locked. EY is locked. No one else. In that case, burger time. What else could I be doing? Laundry takes time at the moment. Bathhouse would only get charm and isn't really a lot. Proficiency from tools, proficiency from batting, kindness from cleaning, charm from coffee, kindness from movie. Yeah, I think this is the best I got then. Big challenge. Yeah. Oh, there's actually a little line there that uh, you could probably do it at, do it as you are now. So that actually tells you if you can do it. The challenge. I guess because in the base game you could take the challenge and fail, but then like it's very easy to just revert to before you spent the 500 yen and one time slot. Now then, go take a seat and good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking the Big Bang Challenge. This is your first time, yes? Uh, your starting rank will be third mate. Thus, your aim will be the Comet Burger. For real? That is so much smaller than the final burger. <laughs> it is absurd. This is a lot bigger than I was expecting. I mean, half an hour to eat that I actually think is possible. This burger is as voluminous as the soaring comet burning in the sky. It will not be overcome easy. But should you conquer the challenge, you'll be rewarded with an extravagant prize. Ooh, the prize will be great. Good luck, Ren. Now then. It's time to get the 30-minute Big Bang Challenge started. Ready? Go. All this meat makes sense of... All this meat makes sense for a challenge of such cosmic proportions. <sighs> I don't think you have the luxury of enjoying the taste. Don't chew, just swallow. <sighs> Even, I somehow ate the whole thing. Even the... Oh, I know. Oh, you didn't eat the fries. I didn't see them at first, so I thought that you even ate the box with the, that the fries came in. Oh. You did it. Congratulations. On completing the challenge. Since you managed to extinguish the Comet Burger, I present you with the Second Mate Badge. And to the Burger Baron who defeated this challenge, we present to you our world-famous Big Bang Burger on the house. Uh, we, we hope you enjoy the taste of victory. Three Big Bang Burgers. New challenges will await you now that you've become a Second Mate. Come again. I look forward to your next attempt at our challenge. 
I knew you could do it. You took that comet burger down. You were so admirable taking on such a daunting task with that intense level of courage. <laughs> oh, it's only one point now? I think it was two in the base game. Nice. Your pace, your strategy of using well-timed drinks and just the spectacular way you devoured it. Everything was perfect. There's knowledge. There's charm. We ate a burger the size of a book and got charm out of it. And kindness? Proficiency? Proficiency. Wanna head back? Come on, we should head home. I'm full just from watching you. 